YouTube. It will be part number six of our Tunic Let's Play, kindly brought to you by uh, LB. Thank you once again for the donation. And um, a little forward for me, guys. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather tonight, so um, I'm going to try and go for as long as I can. But there's no promises um, how long I'll be able to go and how long before I start, like, really flagging. Um, I just feel like I'm energyless and, like, really feverish a bit. That's why I'm kind of like summer and I'm sat with a blanket and a fleece on. But, no, uh, I will prevail and... Um, we want to get back into this. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump back into the game. And um, i trying to remember. Oh, that's right. So we had just uh, we had just oh we got company. We got company. What's going on, dude? How you doing? Hey, Mr. Sir. How are you? I'm doing yeah, fine. I've been better, mate. I'm feeling a bit under the weather today, so not really sure right, how long we're going to be going for tonight, but we'll give it my best shot. Right, no problem. Uh, yeah. So, you know, just, we're literally just getting underway, though, so you haven't missed anything. Um, just trying to remember almost what we were doing previously um we we found this place didn't we that's right but uh not really sure what we can do with it so uh under the weather uh like what kind of what kind of deal oh, no, i just feel like really like energyless and I feel like a bit feverish a little bit so uh, yeah well I don't know how it is there with the certain allergies and certain things and whatever but yeah maybe something yeah, like it's, that I, it's I, I know what you're talking yeah. about but yeah that's it's not horrible, but it's no fun. Yeah, I can I can rule out COVID though. I've done a COVID test just to be sure it wasn't that. So I can rule uh, that yeah. out. <laughs> but, well, that's good. Not that that really means anything over here. I mean, I, I don't know what the um, I don't know what like the regulations and things are over in the states now. But literally, if you've got COVID, it means pretty much nothing over here anymore. <laughs> you can just go about your day. Uh, that's kind of the way people are now. Uh, everything's just kind of been okay. People aren't going to get vaxxed anymore or whatever. And some people are proud of that fact. That hey, Mika. How you hey, doing, dude? Welcome along. Their choice. Hey, Mika. I don't know. It's a shame. Like, uh, seems to me like uh like you who, who who got the vaccine and still got covid it wasn't yeah. all that bad didn't last that long well my brother who you well know uh was he was a trumper and he didn't he didn't get vaccinated he didn't wear a mask he got covid I think so far that I know of twice, at least. And, uh, yeah, he's having this real hard time now with a lot of things. Uh, they, 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 they thought he had gout. They thought he had arthritis. They thought he had, you know, they test, well, they didn't think. They just tested for all that stuff. Because he was having such a hard time. But I think it has to do with, uh, because yeah, it's the same the same kind of stuff he uh, was dealing with when he got COVID. Yeah. And I think he's just having residual effects that will never go away because he wasn't vaccinated. But, don't know. So, I don't, uh... I, yeah, I don't know. His, uh... But anyway, yeah. So, uh, anyway, anyhow. 
How you doing, Mika? Welcome along, dude. Hope you're well. I don't know if I said that already. Yeah, you probably did. did. You did. You just have to excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm all up in your ear. I'm busting you up. No, it's fine. It's absolutely yeah. fine. But yeah, I've been arrested to see where this whole uh, dark area goes. Yeah, well, we, we have finished, like, we have finished the dark area, but one thing I just wanted to sort of, um, uh, one thing I wanted to go back to is, like, there is a, so we're kind of coming up here where this ladder is here, but there's, like, this bit here, and I don't know if that's, like, indicating that there's, like, a boss that we've maybe missed, because I don't remember fighting a boss in this area. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to. Was a shitty boss, if it was in that area. Yeah, so I just wanted to come yeah. back um, into here just to see if there was something that I'd missed. Yeah, other than that, yeah. People were just volunteer, volunteering for you to uh, kick their ass. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I like the. To be honest, it's pretty pretty nice of them, isn't it? Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, no, I like the, I like the initiative. I'd, yeah. I'd hire them. <laughs> to be fair, they're doing a good job of kicking their own ass by walking on them spikes. So, hey, that's not your fault. Damn straight, it's not. Uh, well, I think sometimes you knock them onto the spikes. So maybe we, we won't. We'll ignore. We'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. Okay. So where are we here? I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't know. You need more uh, health and magic. I need more health and magic. He says. Go back to the beach today, maybe. Might be a good shout. Well, how's that for more health and magic, sir? There we go, that's better. Yes, this is this is just where we came into the sewers, I think. Uh, you've always lived in the sewers. Yeah, like the I mean, sewer rat that I am. Wait, no, wait until uh, catch up with the the turtle and, and the master. Now there's four turtles. Well, I'm not being funny. As long as they've got pizza, right? they can catch yeah. up with me as much as they want. <laughs> yeah, they're good about having pizza. It's always fresh in the sewer. Somehow, crazy. Meanwhile, here, above the sewers, uh, to to my own house, uh, seems to be a, a, a thing that's hard for people to do. And I'm pretty I'm a, lost I'm a, as to where we are right now. You're in the dark with your lamp. Duh. We maybe need to go to the frog's domain as well. Maybe well, there's, uh... there's more and more English. The, the, also, that kind of looks the, like it's the, another the boss fight. The manual you're picking up is like pieces, but yeah, it seems like it's, or am I just completely discombobulated uh you pick up one and it fills stuff in on completely different pages yeah it's, I, I i'm not saying it's random but it's you don't complete the manual in order yeah but i mean like uh where you have english and then you have the script yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know it. Pick up something that turns it into English as you discover things. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that it is updating. I just think some of it is. I think it just 
kind of gives you just enough to kind of you to figure out pieces what to yeah put pieces together almost yeah but there's more and more english mm. uh, at least it seems to me i mean the only way we'd be able to uh definitively say is obviously to go back and compare with when we picked up the first bits and pieces but i don't know yeah. possibly possibly uh yeah probably just uh, so i just brain noticed... has somehow managed to figure out uh what it's actually saying and convert it to english all of them saying <laughs> i just know noticed... well i care yeah like a lot of the underneath rudely and yada 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 at the top wasn't English to start with, was it? Sure. Like, uh, Riddling, Ghost of, uh, Soldier. It was written like the Ghost of Soldier who forgot why they fight part. I thought wasn't there on, like, all of them. Just Possibly. Like, uh, the, Possibly. The, the, the boss boss has question marks but then it has english underneath which i didn't think did at first either until you beat it or something i don't know maybe i'm, I'm liking, making all this up i'm liking that I'm little very... touch in the windmill because there's like that weird guy that weird creepy guy demon thing who sells your stuff they just got like oh, two yeah, little yeah, blue yeah. eyes peeking out of the uh, <laughs> the windmill yeah. door there um, nice. Nice i just wanted to look at this though because obviously we've been to this area before and I've just noticed this in the bottom corner. And there are some birds that run away from you. Now, I almost wonder if we need to chase the birds somewhere with them running away from you, possibly. It's just a hunch, but could be. But also, as, as the I've got the different music notes on there, and those symbols almost kind of you can make out areas if you look at the the areas and the and like the symbols. So, like the one on the uh, left here, but like kind of like squashed E with well the E with like the weird bit at the top and the bottom is kind of like that second symbol on number three so that's quite interesting i mean it does look like it just goes around like from top goes top top uh top right left bottom but looking at the numbers on the map i just but obviously i'm just completely clutching at straws and have no idea what the um what the numbers or symbols even mean um another thing i wanted to pick up as well this looks like another boss in the eastern vault and i don't think i've been to the eastern vault so it's something else to um maybe consider It's, um, what did I do that for? So maybe not just stand here all night and discuss what may or may not be. Yeah, run in, run in like you have nine lives. You hear a strange hum. Achievement unlocked. Colors. Okay. The humming intensifies. So with those pillars, pillars, pillows, pillars. We're not going to get drawn into this debate again. Um, <laughs> seems like we have to use that ability that we've just recently learned and shrink it down almost. Oh, here's the well. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll address the, the, the pillar, pillar thing. 
You don't I trust think, it. By the way, it's spelled. Uh, if, I think if you say it at least correctly, as I was taught English, it would be pillars, not pillars, but pillars. But when you say it, it sounds kind of like pillars. Well, yeah. it's it's interesting because well, obviously pillar. you have you have a, a pillow, so you don't want to get confused with a pillow. Because uh, um, I don't think uh, it'd be very comfortable to rest your head on. Let's be honest. Uh, I'm having a really bad deja vu. <laughs> have we been here before? <laughs> wow! Did you just turn on yesterday's stream? Into my ear? Yeah, I like. Well, like I said, I'm I'm feeling sick. We're just doing a rerun. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I, I, that makes sense now. So I just happen to be saying the right things at the right time. For exactly. Your, your, you got your it. responses to sound like they work with with what I'm saying. Okay, that makes sense. So get some rest uh, whenever you hear this. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better by the morning. Because you know, you always feel the worst in the, well, at, at night, but sometimes in the morning too, when, if it's going, if it's going to go worse. But if you feel pretty good in the morning, then get to go yeah within i'm the sure next day, within the next day or so, so yeah well i'm sure we'll feel better in the morning if not i'll just pop some paracetamol and crack on yeah it's <laughs> still a line or two of coke and... <laughs> i wouldn't go that far but sure <laughs> whatever floats your boat that, that, that'll pep you up yeah that that i'm dead. That's something I've uh, never participated in. Yeah, it's something I never plan on participating in either. So. Yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure if I did it, uh, my heart would explode. <laughs> Your AF would be like, what's going on? Yeah, uh, nah. I, I, I'll stick with the. Uh, the amount of stupidity I use on a daily basis for right now, not add on to it. Uh, I don't know what, like, if there's any truth in it, Meek, but the way I would like to interpret that is um, like back in the olden days, like a final enemy would almost be like, you would, you would tackle those sorts of enemies in like dungeons or special areas. So I would kind of, I don't know if, I say I don't know if there's any truth in it, but I would perceive that as like the, the, Big boss, the, the big monster at the end is like the boss of the dungeon, and he's in charge. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's I don't, I don't know, it's just me. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd say uh, that's in English. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a good way to put it. Like, he's the boss in charge. You gotta beat the boss. Uh, typically, you're trying to make Ooh. your way through a game, and, and, and you have enemies. And all those enemies are working for the boss. Yeah. And of course, some games have multiple bosses because they're on multiple areas. Like, uh, might might have a lava area or a water area, or you got different bosses that fits each of those types of things. So, uh, yeah, those those are bosses, but just not your boss. So that's why you're there to teach him a lesson. Yeah. Put the smack down. Like, I'm my own boss. Yeah, you're the boss of this area, but uh, I'm going to show you who's really the boss. So, yeah. That's what you think. Uh, like, what I said describing it is the long winded version what Knox said in about 10 seconds. So <laughs> pick which version you like better. <laughs> I'm a little pressed for time today, so I think I'll take Knox's version. All right? <laughs> I really don't feel like, yeah, the short attention span of people now. Uh, yeah. 
that Black version is the one to go to. Alright. Hey, if you want a bedtime story, I can read you one, but you'll be asleep before I finish. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't it? probably send me to sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> I get all snuggly in my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Blinky. Ah, okay. Something I didn't really use yesterday. We can um the roll now, attack. Now the mafia and speaking in general is and even as boss. far as what other countries call mafia are just Puddlums that, that have somebody who knows business or knows how to intimidate. Yeah. There's a mafia it, it, boss, but that would be like the, the boss you fight against at the end. It's hard. Uh, all, all of his, uh, let's say, constituents, his, his followers, that follow what he says, his, his orders, they're, they're the ones that, like, he's beaten up as he goes around the sunny outside of the map and then the, the mafia boss is the one that stays hidden does the, everything behind the scenes until you meet face to face for that final battle when he's got his um, Tommy gun out behind his desk ready to blast you in smithereens yeah it's uh, built into the desk he just has a trigger. He just yeah. He he just uh, moves his hand over while his arm is resting on his chair armrest, and casually grabs the handle and trigger. Squeezes and puts about 150 holes on the dude in about 10 seconds. Wow, Twitch is really behind. I've been streaming for 30 minutes and it's only just sent me a notification on my watch to say that I can load my mobile dashboard. <laughs> Do you imagine that? I've never had any issues with Twitch or audio or... Yeah, you, you get all your notifications, don't you? Yeah, I've been getting notifications from Twitch since... Wait, they have notifications? Huh. You've been you've been getting notifications since from Twitch since before it was just in TV. <laughs> oh, okay, that's new. What what the hell is that? So I just thought I'd use that new ability on those yellow pads, and clearly they are teleporting pads. Yeah, it's, it's like portals. Oh, orange, look at this. Orange and blue. We we've got a table of contents. Look at this. Wow. Well. That's a huge thing. Maybe we'll uh, get the how, um how many how many of those pages do you not have yet? Or is that uh, only showing what you do have? No, that's um that's showing everything, I believe. Because we haven't okay, got so Quarry Swamp Cathedral. Have. So we might actually get a first bit of the story here. There's a story? Long time ago. Civilization, Holy Cross, the power to defy death. There we go. There's a story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 100%. All right, next game. <laughs> this game was easy. Jeez. Finally, just, all I've got to do is get the contents, boom, and everything done. Yeah, all, all we need to do is pick up a, a bit of paper. Like, jeez, come on. Get more challenging next time. <laughs> all right, well, that's interesting, because now we know we can use these yellow pads to... That's what she said. Well, this is back at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, this is right at the beginning. So, so what's the new ability that? So the so... new ability we found la last night was we can hold the stamina button for three All seconds, right. and we kind of get this. No, we kind of get this, which is like a, a weird field. Now the manual um, okay, initially. I don't remember that, but that. Yeah, it was right. It, it was right at the end of the stream, so he was probably either half asleep or rambling. Yeah, <laughs> probably rambling. Yeah, I tend to, I tend to look away from my screen when I start 
going off on tangents. <laughs> um, so, interestingly, enough, the um, the manual when we first learned about that said that we could only well, it didn't say we could only, but it only said that we could do it on like the black pillow pillars, which um, we did in that other area momentarily uh, a moment a few moments ago. Um, but yeah, since then, it seems like we can use this ability in other places as well. So. I wonder if we can. Again, this is just you being me spitball, spitballing try, away. Try that on stuff like the stuff you're swinging at, the trees and grass or whatever it's supposed to be. It's like these. That's these are the pillars that it, These are the pillars that it sort of mentioned in the um, in the manual book. It looks like we're too far away for it to actually affect that one. Um, I wonder though if we could use that. That, that ability maybe to like, control the birds or do something with the birds on the beach so just completely spitballing yeah uh, you gotta try everything that comes to mind that's what I say if it seems like it makes sense then try it if it seems like it probably might not make sense but you never know try it try it anyway if it seems like it doesn't make any sense at all, still, try it. And then when you've tried it 10 times and it still doesn't work in, congratulations, you've reached madness. <laughs> uh, yeah, I say if you've done it 10 times, it doesn't work, try it one more time. I mean, that's, that's, that's the knock method, sorry. Not stealing it, I'm just saying. Keep trying it. Uh, it's painted, painted, it had copy, copy written. I mean, I can't even speak tonight. It's, it's a struggle. Patented. <laughs> Patented, that's it. <laughs> Patented. I was like, what are you painting, man? Well, you know, <laughs> what do you need painting? You know? Hey, I know how to paint. I don't need tape. I'm a professional, but uh, I'll take somebody else painting for me. Like, when it comes to my own house, yeah, you see, this is things multiple times. This is the um, this is the page that we uncovered like late last night. Yeah, I remember that three second yeah. thing. Yeah, which obviously it just sort of says to us like stand in front of the black pillars and use your ability kind of thing. So, um, oh, it doesn't look black to me. I think you're being racist. Looks more, you know, alien. Looks more green. You're just racist okay. again. Racist so, green. you green racist. I wonder if there's another way out of I wanna, I want to tell all the hawks, she hawk, incredible hawk. I'm going to tell them all. You don't like them. Oh, I especially like them when they're angry. Well, that's the only time they're green, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is she hawk green? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just sort of speculating, but I know, like, Evan used to watch the animated sort of Marvel things, and I'm sure there was, like, a blue one and a red one, and... I never watched any of that. The She-Hulk from way back in the day with Bill Bixby. Who? Bill Bixby. He was the guy who played... Uh, the non hawk version of the hawk. He was a scientist. Oh, okay. So he was, he actually and played then, like Eric And Banner. then, like, they would put, con yeah, David Banner. Bruce, Bruce Banner. Sorry, I want to say Eric. Yeah, Eric was the guy yeah, who played that's him. right. Bruce, yeah, Bruce Banner. Uh, but yeah, he, they would stick the contacts in his eyes. So it looked like kind of greenish, whitish. Like he was changing, and then next thing you know, they would show Lou Ferrigno in his ripped jeans and show it. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, the, there there was a. Uh, a lot of people don't remember this. There, there was an Incredible Hawk show back then with that series where it was, a, it was like this skinny older dude. 
and he had the same he turned green and and was like unrealistically strong for how he looked he was like chicken bones and he was just kicking the hawk's ass it sounds like more really like um sounds a bit more like blanka from street fighter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm familiar with Street Fighter, just not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blanca was the green guy. Yeah, he, he, yeah, like, yeah. Crouch, the, the like red hair. Yeah. But now nah, this dude was like this, 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 like 50 year old skinny dude. He didn't get bigger or anything or rip his pants and shirt. He just, it's like he stayed the same normal human size. <laughs> He wasn't ripped or anything, but he still had the strength. Okay. I'm not really like, I don't really watch anime, it's not really my sort of thing. Yeah, I've watch. never watched it. Unless it was porn, I might have seen some. So that's for another channel. Yeah, PG. <laughs> You did. <laughs> nah. Seriously, nah, yeah, I've never I've never gotten the I guess maybe if I was a kid or something, I don't know. Nah, I know a lot of adults watch it. Like I love SpongeBob for the adult. Well, the thing is the thing is though, I think it, it depends what you grew up with though at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Like a lot I mean, of, a lot of people like always talk about Pokemon, but I don't I, I don't know anything about Pokemon because by the time it really yeah. got big over here. It was like, yeah, I was too old. Yeah, same here. I'd never heard about it until the 90s. So I, I hadn't even played video games. Like most of the 90s, I did not play video games. Because I was, uh, I had graduated in 91. And after that, uh, I worked and I partied. And uh, yeah. I didn't play any video games. Except for when I went by my cousin's house, played his 3 do or whatever. Uh, with ColecoVision. Uh, nah, <laughs> 3 dos they were the first one to have uh, this. And uh, it was the seventh guest. Oh, yeah. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame their follow up the eleventh hour sucks so bad. Uh do you really want to dodge? Here. This is a, this is an idea. That's like a that's like a mini boss. Yeah, mini boss that kicks my ass though. I think maybe like, I haven't like been to a safe spot for ages. Uh, oh, you just got died. Uh, uh, and you stole all of your coins. Yeah, I, I would not be happy with that. Speaking of coins, uh, I have heard of Naruto, Japanese anime. Yeah. Don't know anything about them or other characters, but I, I have seen the name Naruto. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if it's one that times. my kids have watched. I'm not sure. Yeah, it definitely seems like to be a younger thing, except for Mika. I know. <laughs> Mika's a spring chicken. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Mika just turned recently, what, uh, 16, 17? Yeah. Did you, did you not get the invite to his birthday party? No, I was too old. Well, he made sourdough pizza and everything. I know. I was looking forward to it, but, you know, too old. You know, that's how it goes. You're not a weirdo, Mika. Far from it, dude. <laughs> uh, you're probably one of the least weird people I've, I've read on the internet. <laughs> 
Yeah, it, it, it takes a lot to get into the weird category of my book. Oh, yeah. There's a comedian I like to watch from time to time. He's not, he doesn't do too many shows these days, but um, Dave Gorman, British guy. I he have has, not um, heard of him. I've, I've, watched, I've watched a lot of comedians, but uh, Dave Gorman, D-A-V-E-G-O-R-M-A-N. Yeah. Okay, I have to look him up. And he does... Um, he had a show called Modern Life is Goodish. And um, basically his whole deal was he'd do his whole sort of TV program sketch based around a PowerPoint presentation. Um, and he used to have this, he would always have like a story that would divide opinion. And he'd, he'd always like start rubbing his hands at like how he loves, he loves it when you get to the bottom half of the internet and all the... Uh, all the uh, absolute weirdos and freaks start coming out and some of the things that they say it's just yeah it's it doesn't sound too great just to explain it like that but yeah it was um yeah quite quite good well quite i good. gotta pull it up and uh yeah i don't recognize them i definitely haven't seen them before hold on let me try Okay, yeah, he's okay. Different people because that I hate that. Yeah, you pull up images. Okay, let me put comedian on again because I don't know if some of these are him, just a different. Oh, uh, well, he, he t typically wears a plaid shirt, um, plaid. yeah, plaid plaid, whatever, mate of tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why we say plaid when it obviously has an AI, which is A, like getting laid, L A I D. Laid it down. But that, then you could have a L A Y E D. As much as I would love to get into a language I, discussion. I, 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 I really don't. I'm, I'm stopping. It's, yeah. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, his, uh... Okay, yeah, just look for the plaid shirts. Plaid shirts. Yeah, he's got, he's got a plaid shirt. He's got, um... He has a goatee. Yeah. As well. Uh, yeah, I knew that was him when I first saw it. Because he was the, the main one. It was like, hey, look. Yeah, he looks British. He must be the one. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he, uh, there's a picture here that, uh, of one of your stills, not your stills, but there's a still you have the, uh, like without the, without the, uh, beard or, or goatee, it's the knee shots, it's just a beard. Whereas KT would not have the face, the side, side face. Uh, yeah, this one kind of looks a little bit like you. A bit like me. Yeah, when you when you got your hair buzz. And, yeah, let me let me see if uh, anybody agrees. Uh, anybody begin Mika. And, and you, and you get this one up. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not a person or a shot that I think if you look at it in smaller scale it fits better yeah when it's bigger no I don't want it's bigger you could <laughs> that's what she said Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> I thought if you click on it to YouTube link and then it came up and it had Gorm Hub. You click on it. Yeah, I Gorm Hub. I, yeah. <laughs> I thought it had been bamboozled. Okay, that's funny. 
No, it's YouTube. It's not NSFW. Nowhere is on the link. It's, it's yeah. just him, him, uh, him being him, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch that later.